my beloved students welcome to this session in this session we are going to solve problems which contains rhss non zero in specific we are going to take our rhss e power ax plus by for the linear homogeneous partial differential equation with constant coefficients now we recap differentiation of e power ax plus by d means dou by dou x so it is going to be a into e power ax plus by suppose you do d dash of ax plus by we are going to get b into e power ax plus by with this we go to the type on how to solve the problem and how to find the cf and pi and how to find cf is already posted in the previous video those who don't watch go to the playlist watch the video one how to find cf for linear partial differential equations of homogeneous pde with constant coefficients so these are all some of the problems you are going to practice let's go into the session so either the problem is given in this form or d square minus 5d d dash plus 6d dash square into z is equal to e power x plus y both are same now let us take this equation first we have to find the cf because z is equal to cf plus pi this is homogeneous linear pde so i'm going to replace d by m and d dash by 1 in 1 the auxiliary equation is going to be m square minus 5m plus 6 equal to 0 my roots are 2 and 3 they are unequal or distinct so my cf is f1 of y plus 2x plus f2 of y plus 3x next step we are going to find pi so now how to find pi you have to take the function of d d dash into this as we see beginning like d of e power ax plus by is a into the function e of ax plus by similarly for d dash we are getting b so replace d by the coefficient of x that is a in general we take e power ax plus by then d is replaced by the coefficient of x similarly d dash should be replaced by the coefficient of y that is b so in this problem both a and b are one so put d equal to 1 d dash equal to 1 let us take dr means denominator for our simplicity write this so dr is equal to 1 minus 5 plus 6 that is 7 minus 5 2 i can directly write the pi so 1 my denominator is 2 1 by 2 e power x plus y this is my pi so we have already found cf so the answer is z equal to cf plus pi so one more for this you have to write the final answer next question solve the following so the given pd is this it is going to be linear as well as homogeneous of order 2 so now replace d by m d dash by 1 and we have to find cf so we take rhs as 0 the auxiliary equation is going to be m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0 immediately we write m minus 2 whole square so m equal to 2 comma 2 the roots are real and equal so my cf is going to be f1 of y plus 2x then plus since the roots are equal x into f2 of y plus 2x so cf gets over now pi as i said somewhere you write dr represent denominator so instead of substituting every time denominator we write it as dr it is easy for us to evaluate the problem so now d should be replaced by 2 because the coefficient of x is 2 and d dash should be replaced by 1 the coefficient of y is 1 so once you substitute you get my denominator 1 that is now let us find dr so d is 2 2 square 4 d is 2 and d dash is 1 minus 8 d dash is 1 denominator is 0 so this is very very important if your denominator is non-zero in the previous problem you stop the problem if denominator is 0 then pre-multiply by x and differentiate the denominator partially with respect to d so here my denominator is this if i differentiate partially with respect to d i'll get 2d minus 4 d dash is constant so differentiation of d is 1 I'll be getting 2d minus 4d dash and I'm multiplying x that is pre-multiplying x. Now again I have to calculate denominator. So d is 2, d dash is 1. 4 minus 4, 
zero again. So repeat the process. Pre multiply with x again. Already one x is there and differentiate with respect to d. So two d differentiation is two. There is no in the d in the second term. It becomes zero. So e power two x plus y. So my p i is going to be x square by two e power two x plus y. So now z is equal to c f plus p i. So my c f is f one of y plus two x x into f two of y plus two x and my p i is x square by two e power two x plus y. That's it. Next question. Simply d plus d dash all square. Into z is equal to e power x minus y. So this is also a linear homogeneous PDE with constant coefficients. Put R H as zero and take d equal to m and d dash equal to one. We get the solution immediately. So my roots are minus one minus one. It is repeated. So I am writing the corresponding C F. Let's go into the P I. Here d is replaced by one. D dash is replaced by minus one. So dr is equal to denominator. So my dr is equal to one minus one all square. That is going to be zero. So when the denominator is zero, re-multiply with x and differentiate the denominator alone with respect to d. So I'll be getting two into d plus d dash when I differentiate the denominator alone. Now let us go for dr. Again, two into one minus one, it is zero. So as usual, re-multiply. By x already x is there. Differentiate the denominator with respect to d, so you'll be getting two into one e power x minus y. So my solution is x square by two e power x minus y. So z is equal to c f plus p i. That is f one of y minus x x into f two of y minus x and my p i is x square by two e power x minus y. Next problem. So here it is of order three. So since our syllabus contains second and higher order, you may get any order. Now R H S contains two different terms. So I am going to take my p i as p i one plus p i two. We have to solve separately one by one. So let us go. Since it is homogeneous linear PDE with constant coefficients, I can assume d is one. I can assume d is equal to m. D dash equal to one, and R H S is zero. When I solve this, so use your calculator, nine ninety one M S Casio. You will get the answer. You know how to find the repeated roots and non-repeated roots. So the roots are minus two one one. My C F is going to be f one of y minus two x. F two of y plus x and x into f three of y plus x. Now let us go to the P I. As I said, I am going to take the P I as P I one plus P I two. Now d value is replaced by two and d dash should be replaced by minus one. So let us take d r means denominator. So my d r value is going to be two cube is eight minus three into two. Minus one whole square plus minus one whole cube. So I'll be getting eight minus six minus two. It's going to be zero. So I can re-multiply by x and differentiate the denominator with respect to d. So you'll be getting d square minus three d dash square is constant, and differentiation of d is one. Now again I go for denominator that is three into two square minus one. All square. So if you get your denominator value is non-zero, stop the problem. If it is zero, keep on repeating the steps. So two square four, twelve minus three, it is going to be nine. So my answer is x by nine e power two x minus y. But this is not the final answer. This is simply p i one. We have to find p i two similarly. So when you go to p i two now. You should not use the previous d d dash. In this problem, we have to use the d d dash fresh. So here d is equal to one. D dash should be replaced by again one because the coefficients are one and one. So my denominator is one cube minus three into one one square plus two into one cube. So one minus three plus two again it is zero. So pre multiplying by x and differentiating this, we get three d square three d dash square. Now again. If my denominator three into one, three into one square, so it is going to be zero. So now I have to pre-multiply with x again. Already one x is there, and differentiate this. You'll be getting six d. Second term does not contains 
d it becomes zero now again find the denominator dr now d is replaced by 1 6 into 1 6 so my pi is going to be x square by 6 e power x plus y so the general solution is z is equal to cf we have two different pi pi1 pi2 now let us write the answer so it may contain one or two mark so you have to write the final answer so this is the final answer thanks for watching subscribe our channel share to your friends in the next session we are going to solve how to find pi if your rhs is going to be sin ax plus by or cos ax plus by